Now that we've got everything set up, the best thing to do is to get our testing working. Testing in, you can test in PHP in two, di two or three different ways. First of all, well, the way that you usually do it is using PHP unit. And PHP unit is directly supported. I don't know if you've ever tried creating a new folder file, but sometimes you can see this, this thing called PHP unit, PHP unit test. And that's for PHP unit. That's because PHP storm net natively supports PHP unit. Then to get started with PHP unit, you first have to define your test folder. So once again, go back to your settings or press command, command comma or control alt s, bring you back to your settings. And under PHP, we can see this tab called PHP unit. So we can actually start to configure how our tests are run. So there are different ways of running it. First way, you can load from an include path. So we have our local configuration and it's already set up for us. So, but we need to select a test runner. So we can do that right here. We can also use a custom loader. Now, sometimes you might have issues with PHP unit running. So you might want to choose that and we'll see if that happens in this case. So let's go okay and it looks like we're good to go. If we wanna do it again, we can do a web server. We can run it on a web server. And what this will do is, for example, if you're working remotely for a client or from a server, you'd like to just debug on a server, you can do that so long as the server has xdebug installed, it's a PHP extension, or it also has a type of debugger tool installed to it. There are lots of other tools like Zen Debugger and so forth. And so that's what these can do. And you can, you can set the interpreter and you can set all that up. Uh, that's more advanced though. So what I've done is I've just okay. And now to, to actually run our test, we need to create a run configuration. So click on this little drop down, go to edit configurations. And here we can see two different options. Once again, we have PHP unit and PHP unit on server. You can see how they're a little bit different. But what we want is we want to be testing locally. So I just go to PHP unit, and I go to directory. And under that directory, we could also we have to set our test directory because that's where all of our tests are. So if we go to this test directory, we can see a number of files if we actually look in here. Okay, and we can also then we can do some test runner options if we want, but this is pretty much everything we need. So what it'll do is it'll run all the tests under the test directory. We go to apply and go okay, and now we can see if we if we wait a minute, it should show up here. Sorry, my bad. I actually had to create a new one. <laughs> Remember to go to the plus one and then go to PHP unit. This will create a new configuration rather than just using a, a just add a, a changing the preset. So we're going to call ours. Uh, testing main and then we can also we can set we've already set this up so we've got our directory set up we have everything here and so what we should what, what should happen now is we see this testing main is now a debugging configuration that means that we can try to run it 